Hello, and welcome to Friday Reads, where I tell you what I'm reading this weekend and review last week's pick. My review this week is of The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. I read this uh, last Friday before the 24 and 48 readathon, and I want to say I sped through it. It's a short book. It is all of 110 pages, but I, I sped through it and yet I spent a lot of time in it. Uh, it is written as vignettes. They are not very long. Many of them are just one page. Some of them are two or maybe three pages. Some are simply one paragraph and that's it. And they all have titles or headings and throughout all these vignettes, you follow, sort of follow Esperanza, who is a girl based on Sandra Cisneros and her story growing up. But we follow Esperanza as she navigates the world and the life of living as a Latina girl in Chicago and not a great part of Chicago in the house on Mango Street. We see relatives, friends, uh, the hardships of, of being poor, the awkwardness of puberty and growing up and what is a woman and what is a girl and all of these themes are discussed in such an interesting way because of the style of writing. I don't usually love this sort of vignette, discombobulated, disconnected, short narrative type thing. I am a fan of sort of classic, but novels, narratives, prose, um, not as much into poetry or these vignette type dealios. But I really enjoyed and absorbed and engaged with this book. It held my attention a lot more than I thought it was going to. And I became really invested in Esperanza, even though I didn't get much of a cohesive stream. It was these glimpses of her in different parts of her life and different people in her life. But it was just really powerfully written and it, um, says so much with so few words, which is really a talent and a skill that is amazing. When it's done well, it's just done so well. So this is something that I want to read again and I want to sit with and reread and sit with and reread because I think there is so much in here that that it that you can't get it in one read through. So definitely powerful, something that made me think for sure about all the things that she discusses in the issues. So that is The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. My Friday reads this week is The Wangs vs. The World by Jade Chang in this beautiful, beautiful hardback edition from Book of the Month Club. It is a book I have heard so much about for many, 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 many months. It came out in, I think, October. October, September, October. It came out this past fall. And I am in love with it so far. I'm just about, how far am I? I'm about 100 pages in and it is just, I'm so invested in this family. I am so invested in what are they going to do now that they are in these dire straits and how are they going to get across the country and if you don't know anything about this, I don't want to say too much. Uh, it definitely is one of those books I've avoided any sort of potential spoilers about. It is about a, the Wang family. They're the father, the patriarch of the family, was a makeup cosmetic mogul who came from China and Taiwan, came to the United States, grew this huge company, and then is bankrupt. It is set in the financial crisis of 2008, of 2008 maybe, yes? Anyway, it's set in a recent financial crisis and he loses everything. And so they have to road trip from California to New York to stay with their oldest daughter who has a house in New York and the whole family is coming along 
and it is just fantastic so far. It's humorous, it is emotional, it has the rich people problems that if you have watched some of my videos, you know I love that. Uh, but it also has a really interesting narrative around immigration and being an immigrant in the United States and the generational aspects of being not white American and just multi-generational families. It's just really interesting uh, and, and totally entertaining. So that's what I'll be reading this weekend. I don't, I'm hoping to finish it like this weekend because it's really good. So that's The Wangs Versus the World by Jay Chang. That's this week's Friday Reads. If you want to see my other Friday reads or the discussion videos we have, blog posts of reviews, podcast episodes, all of that fun stuff is at gameandread.com. You can also follow us. We are on Twitter, Instagram, Litzy, and Facebook at Game and Read. Come talk to us. Let me know what you're reading, and I'll see you next time.